Thank you so much, Zacharias. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Uh, before I address that, I want to piggyback a little bit on uh, Ms. Freywitz's great perspective. Yes, and I want to add a little bit of a global perspective to it. Uh, so uh, there is this concept called a technological determinism. Uh, it, it implies that technology profoundly shapes society. And that is very important for our conversation within the context of Africa, because uh, we, what we really see today is, uh, as the professor also mentioned, is an equality and digital divide. So it demands us to be very, 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 very intentional to strive for an inclusive tech development for a collective human welfare. So because, as we keep saying that we are at the heart of the fourth industrial revolution, uh, where dig digital, virtual, physical, biological, you know, real is converged with technologies like AI, robotics, big data, uh, IoT, and metaverse. So uh, with that, the, this new era holds for Africa a great potential to actually leapfrog instead of doing the traditional developmental stage so that we can, you know, tap into the latest technologies uh, to make sure that uh, innovation happens quick and agile, in an agile fashion. But the reality is different today because AI, uh, while AI can revolutionize uh, healthcare, for example, or our farmers, coffee farmers, through blockchain for traceability, what the world is showing is different. According to a recent uh, McKinsey report, uh, there is a grave danger that this benefit from technology is not evenly distributed. So it has to be addressed, and we Africans are the primary victims. Uh, actually, numbers won't lie, so the estimate is that AI alone can inject about $12.5 trillion of economic output by 2030, uh, which is about 1.2% of global GDP annually. Uh, but what part of that is for Africa is very concerning. So the potential for uh, of further deepening of socioeconomic inequality reminds us that we have to be aggressive uh, and take alone is not a panacea. It's not take alone is not the solution. So we have to harness innovation deliberately uh, and with a clear strategy that what is needed for Africa and for what is needed for Africa's context and for Africa's need is extremely important. So uh, with that, I'll, I'll go back to the, the AI uh, aspect of it. Uh, reflecting on my personal experience of uh, a privilege uh, in interviewing the Prime Minister about three years ago, after the interview, it was very, very clear to me that even then, Ethiopia was on the cusp of digital revolution because he outlined that his vision, not only for Ethiopia, but for Africa's tech renaissance, emphasizing the need for a digital-driven uh, economic transformation for the whole of Africa. That's what he said. So the swift establishment of our institution, the Ethiopian Artificial Intelligence Institution, alongside the PM's uh, sweeping digital reforms like telecom liberalization, national digital ID, uh, mobile money, which uh, Ms. Priyoti is killing it now, uh, the capital market, and more, uh, is, is, is a testament to our, 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 our deter de deterministic uh, uh, decision and mindset towards that goal. So uh, to give clarity, by the way, Ethiopian artificial intelligence is not an educational institution. It's a policy and research and development institution doing actual work, which I'm going to highlight a little bit uh, in a bit. So uh, this institute is very young, extremely young. But with this short journey, what they were able to do is nothing short of amazing. Uh, tapping into the potential of emerging tech, uh, not only we are doing something for us, but for Africa and the global uh, you know, community at large, that what it means to use digital equity uh, to solve the society's grand challenges into our serious issues like healthcare, education, e-governance, and more. But what's more amazing to me is what, what the institution did in terms of language. We were able to develop a nat natural language processing with our four local languages, Amharic, Afano-Romo, Tigrinya and Somalinya, which is like, I think, first of its kind for Africa, I would say, uh, so that computers can understand our context, our needs, so, which, is, which is extremely important. So the fact that we are able to develop a natural language, an African language model, for computers to understand our languages is absolutely a game changer. Thank so you very much, it has to be understood that way. So the initiative by the PM reflects Ethiopia's tradition of you know, adopting innovation, uh, echoing an early embrace of you know, electricity, you know, telecom, uh, and trains during the Battle of Adwa while maintaining our sovereignty. So we have to keep going with that, with that urge and determination. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated.